Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Champion's Journey. This week, I wanna talk about responsibility. Responsibility is a big word for kids. Um, as a younger child, we're typically teaching them responsibility by getting them to clean up after them, clean up their room, do all of this good stuff. As they get into their teenage years, we're hopefully giving them a little bit more responsibility and helping them kind of step into adulthood. That's what teenagers are looking for. They're looking for that freedom to understand what responsibility is, freedom to find out who they are, but without necessarily all the consequences that come with it. Hard work dealing with teenagers. I know I've got two of them. Um, but here's what I want you to think about responsibility. It's a big, heavy word um, for us and for kids. There is a way that we can break it down a little bit differently and we can talk about responsible. It's your response able, right? Um, you are able to respond in any given situation, right? The wonderful thing about the human brain is that we can look at a situation and respond to it accordingly. And if we can start to teach kids this um, response able thing, then what we can do is when we're talking about cleaning their room, um, we can talk to them about, hey, you are able to respond to this in a positive manner um, and we can have a conversation about what it means to clean your room, what it means to do your homework, what it means to you and your future life as you're thinking of being responsible, responsible. And we can actually take it into the responsibility and you've got an ability that you can respond to, response ability, right? It's your ability, right, that you're looking at. What are you good at? What can you do? Response, can you respond to this ability and bring it out into the world? These are two ways that we can talk about responsible and responsibility in very different ways, but gets to the core of the matter. This way, we are um, empowering, we are uh, encouraging our youth to look at the world differently, to grow into themselves and their abilities, and, and to really step up and own what's theirs, own their ability to uh, do something great in the world and to do something magical. Um, and on a note of that, something that we do with our field champions and something we've noticed on the field, um, this happened when I first started Pure Game. Um, I was out there working with some kids and I this kid did something brilliant and magical. And I looked at him and I went, hey buddy, well done, that was fantastic. And I, I looked at him right in the eye, pointed at him, and he stopped and he just went, what me? And in that moment, I realized that kid had really received very little positive um, feedback on what he, what he did. Um, and from that moment on in the program, that kid smiled and interacted with me differently and did so much of that same thing, right? And kids want your attention. That's what they really desire. So if you want kids to be responsible, notice the things and the times they are being responsible. If your kid cleans his room, if your kid clean, um, does his homework, if they cl um, clean up the kitchen table, hey, thank you very much for cleaning the kitchen table. I really appreciate that. Hey, Johnny, well done for doing your homework. That's fantastic effort. What you'll find is they'll do more of that because they want your attention. Now, if they're not doing it and you're screaming at them and shouting at them for not doing something, that is still attention. And so they will actually do more of that because they are still getting your attention. Um, it's just part of growing up. Kids desire, they long for attention. They wanna feel part of a clan, part of a group. It's what humans do um, as, we, as we grow. And so I want you to think about that. Change the way we talk about responsible and responsibility. Make it about they're able to respond and they've got an ability that they can bring out to the world. So change it that way and then notice the things they are doing well. Uh, if you want to learn more about Pure Game, go to thepuregame.org. You can find all about our schools we partner with, all about the programs. If you want to donate, top right hand corner, there's a donate now button. We'd love to have you partner with us so we can do more great work with the kids. 
um, that we're working with. Thanks a lot for listening and I'll see you next week.